five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hello everybody, I'm Alex, this is the Ramble, we go until midnight tonight from the east coast of the United States in New York City, Eastern Daylight Time. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, the left coast of the United States, yeah, it's Larry Bubbles Brown. Hello Larry. Hello Alex. How are you doing? Oh, a little better than last week. So, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You, we were supposed to do you last week, and we, uh, you, you said to me, "I'm having so many problems this week, I can't do it." Yes, I was. Uh, let's, I had a mild case of food poisoning, and then uh, just I've been dealing with uh, filing for unemployment with the state of California, which uh, it looks like it finally went through. But uh, their computers, they have. Uh, their computer systems are literally from the 60s and 70s. Hmm. They actually had to they had to call some guys from uh, that had worked for California in that period to come work on these computers. They're just so shaky, and nobody knows how to use them. And wow! There's some, uh, there's some code they use. Is it called Covet, Covet, or Cobol, or Cobol? That's it. So they're still in that system. No. That, that, that's how old these are. So and they've got millions of people applying, and just there's just these horror stories. And they probably and probably and probably they working. they probably don't have anybody that knows how COBOL works anymore. Yeah, that's why they had their call. They they were looking for these retired employees that used to work there to come out and try to save them. Oh boy. Boy oh boy oh boy. So what I realize is in this society, nothing works. <laughs> nothing so. works. No, 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 nothing works when you want it to. No. You know. Well, I don't know. I've just been, uh, it's hot in this studio, and I got the air conditioning on, and it's not cooling it down. And I've got my uh, my breathing problems I've been having. But I think it may be dust under the bed, so we just... Uh, uh, took attachments that hadn't been used in years and put it on the vacuum, on the Dyson, and put it under the bed and cleaned under there, and hopefully that'll help me a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> and how long do you say it was, you had not the vacuum there? Well, since we got the new bed, which has to be at least five years, six years. <laughs> that was like you just opened King Tut's tomb. Y- yes, yes. I'm Lord Carnarvon of dust. <laughs> God, now tell me this: Why is it that I'm losing it and I can't remember things, and yet I just came up with Lord Carnarvon? Uh, uh, well, I do, the, I do the same thing. You get old, you get uh, you have clear memory for older references, but things now, you just said like yesterday, you tend to forget. Now, people are asking, uh, who is Lord Carnarvon? He discovered King Tut's tomb, right? Uh, Carnarvon, it was uh, or did he fin- Carter. Huh? Okay, but he fi- Carnarvon financed it, I think. Maybe that was it, but yeah. Carter was the guy that uh, found the tomb. Yeah. And you probably know this. that uh, You see all these old theaters from the 20s. There's A lot of them have Egyptian themes, and I guess that the discovery of that uh, tomb set off a national craze and oh, that's yeah. why all those theaters were designed like old Egyptian places. Yeah. So um uh but uh Lord Carnarvon I think financed it, if I'm not mistaken. That sounds right. It's a great name too. Yeah. <laughs> and do you know uh what Lord Carnarvon is famous for today? No. The Downton Abbey man- mansion. Oh, okay. Belongs to the Carnarvons. Wow. Yeah. I, I believe I'm right about that. Somebody look it up and prove me wrong. Well, let's Google that. Let's see here. Lord Carnarvon. I'll, I got, uh, see, I have all my, I can do it here. You can't. Uh, let's see. Lord Carnarvon. Well, here. Lord Carnarvon. It just comes up when I go C-A-N-A. Okay. Uh, who is the current Lord Carnarvon? Uh, he's George Herbert. 8th Earl of Carnarvon. 
who lives in High Clare Castle? That's the classle. The classle. The castle they used in uh, uh, Downton Abbey. It says today the castle is the home of the eighth Earl and Countess of Carnarvon. Or Kem Arvin. It's actually Kem Arvin. So, anyway, see? See, and that popped right out of your head. Yep. Just popped right. Just boom, right? Yep. Meanwhile, I can't remember your name again. <laughs> But it is a, those old theaters, as you know, are just uh, amazing. Yes, they are. And now, now we're, I guess we're not going to have theaters anymore. They're all closing. Well, uh, and as they should. You uh, think so? Yeah, yeah, they're badly run these days. You know, all they care about is putting people in seats. They don't care about showmanship. You know, mm-hmm. I've gone. I can't tell you how many times I've gone to the local AMC down here, what I call the Comfy Chair Theater. And about all they got is the Comfy Chairs, and they're kind of losing their stuffing. Uh, and um, uh, I, one time, I went in there, and I was started, you know, I love 3D, so I went to see a movie in 3D, and the picture comes on. It's not in 3D. It's not in 3D at all. So I go down, and I complain to the management, and he goes, well, let me see here. Uh, we have we have three D showings and we have showings that aren't in three D. And he looks up and he says, "Well, the showing you're watching is should be in three D." He said, "Come up and look at it." <laughs> so he comes up and I said, "Does that look like three D to you? You don't even have to put the glasses on. There's no double image." And all these people, by the way, are sitting in the goddamn theater watching this thing with their glasses on, thinking they're watching three D. Really? Yeah. That's, uh, what a ripoff. Yeah. So they said, you want your money back? I said, damn right I want my money back. You know. What uh, What movie was that? Uh, that thing about uh, creatures and where to find them or something. I don't know. That goofy. Well, how come uh, 3D never really caught on, but it, it never dies either? Well, no, it's caught on. It caught on. I mean, they're still making all the major releases, uh, you know, big tent features like the Avengers and so on in 3D. It's, they're not even made in 3D. Let me explain to you. They're processed into 3D. They, they shoot them flat, and then they go in with some technology wizardry and extrude the picture. So what you're getting really is fake 3D. You're not even getting real 3D. The only person shooting in real 3D is like, uh, what's his name who did Avatar? Uh, he so loves 3D, he wouldn't think of converting his films to 3D. He shoots them in 3D. Wow. Cameron. Uh, uh, Alita, uh, this film that just came out, Alita, was actually shot in what I call stereoscopic 3D where they shoot with two lenses, two cameras, two two different streams of, uh, of, of video so that they approximate the difference between your eyes. So, But everybody else is like, oh, let's just, uh, we'll just send this off to the make it into 3D lab and then it comes back with a 3D print and they shove those out to the theaters digitally. So, And they can run those through a regular projector? He, uh, no, they, well, there is no regular projector anymore. Yeah, that's true. They're all digital. Let me get you up to speed on this, uh, Bob's. <laughs> well, how did in the old days? How did they did they have two projectors? For the yeah, 3D? W- w- when I was growing up, and I fell in love with 3D, and there was a big 3D craze back around 55, 53, 53. Uh, they uh, they they showed these movies in 3D, and what they did is they projected them with two separate projectors. And um, they um, uh, put a different reel in each projector, and then they ran them synchronized. If you were lucky, uh, chances are you wouldn't be lucky, and then they would go out of sync, and you would get the most blazing headache you've ever had. <laughs> but Those crappy glasses again. But that 3D was spectacular. If people want to see that kind of 3D at home if they have a 3D. TV set like I have, I, I I have one now, and one in the closet that's broken that I want to get fixed. Um, if you watch uh, Creature from the Black Lagoon, the 3D copy that they have, that's stereoscopic. 
you know all those all those films in the in the 60s were stereoscopic and the early 3d films in this craze were done stereoscopically but then somebody said oh well, we can convert all these films to 3d rather than having to spend the money for two different cameras and blah 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 and um, you know they shoot them flat and then they send them out yeah. well I've never, you know I've never seen a 3d movie what no Really? I'd like to. Well, if you ever come to New York, I got uh, about a hundred of them on uh, on uh, in computer files, and we'll okay. just reel them out for you on uh, on our big 3D TV set. A creature from a black. I'd love to see a creature from the black lagoon because I thought that was the sexiest woman in movies. That uh, forget her name, but uh, uh bu- 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 oh, well, oh, what was her name? See now, there's there I go. What was her name? She's br- brunette. Yeah, and her name was. Wait a minute, hold on a second. Well, it wasn't Crane. It was, no, it was. Uh, 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 as soon as I see the name, I'm going to hate myself. Uh, creature, um, beautiful creature. Well, from the. I have to go from the from. If I get a from. There we go. From the Black Lagoon. Creature from the Black Lagoon. Um, uh, let me see here. Creature from the Black Lagoon. Wait a minute, this isn't coming up right. Yeah, I can't. It's like names. You get older, you can't remember names. Cre- creature from the Black Lagoon. Oh, come on. I've got more problems here. Uh, you love the fact that I'm having problems here. Okay, <laughs> uh, uh, Laurie something. No, Julie Adams. Julie Adams. Okay, yeah, yeah. she was amazing. And I like the scene where, the, where she's swimming. Right? Oh, she's got that one-piece suit on, yeah. Yeah, and, oh, and the creature is swimming under her like he's having sex with her. He's, yeah. <laughs> he, he's on his back. Uh-huh. And he's looking up at her, you know. I mean, when, you, when you've got a creature that ugly, hot for you, that beats any dating horror story you've ever had. <laughs> and, of course... Uh... I think he got rid of Bobby Slayton. Had uh, there was like a dozen. Oh no, he still has it. He still has it. Okay. He they, has. They, they, he has in the theaters what they did for. Uh, they had a stand-up, which was a complete replica of the creature of the Black Lagoon that would stand in the lobby. Okay, uh, and um, I get a call from Bobby, and he says, "You got three hundred bucks you can lend me." Or maybe, no, 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 it was a thousand bucks. If you got a thousand bucks, you can yeah, lend. Yeah, that was like a thousand. In those days, I was full of money. So I said, sure, I'll give you a thousand bucks. What do you want? He said, don't ask. <laughs> I said, you got some financial problems? He says, don't ask. So a couple of weeks later, I said, okay, I sent you the three the thousand dollars. I think for my money, I need to know what it was you needed it for. He said, I bought the creature from the Black Lagoon. He said, what? He says, it's a stand-up that was in theaters. It's a complete three-dimensional dummy, you know, of the creature. And I went, uh, oh, cool. You know, that's what you spent 1000 bucks on? You didn't buy dinner? And I think originally he was going to spend it to pay something off or something is what he needed it for. But then he turned around and used it to buy this. Well, I think and, that would be a good investment, actually. Well, he still has it to this day, from what I understand. Yeah, because I think they only made like a dozen or so of them. They made a handful of them. I mean, they were done as, as promotions for theaters, and then I guess in the first theaters where they where they showed them the you know the road show or the you know the initial showing, they put these things in the theaters. And I think they cycled them around from theater to theater and so on. But uh, he he got one of them. It's probably worth a good deal of money now. Yeah. You ever watch? You don't watch TV much, do you? Do you watch TV? A little, not much. Do you have cable? No. No. Why? Why did I even ask that question? I grew up have... on the old uh, air, <laughs> the the signal that comes through the air. Yes. And I got a. I have a converter box because uh-huh. TV is now. Whatever they change. Digital. 
digital, so I convert the uh, signal. S say the word yeah. after me. I get, a bunch, digital. I get a bunch of channels uh, for all free. Right. Well, when we uh, when we talk to you next, we'll have to talk about what you watch on your uh, <laughs> on your limited amount of television that you get. I watch the Justice Channel a lot because I like these old crime uh, crime stories. Yeah. But I have run out of time. Oh, already? And so have you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think I ran out a long time ago. And we'll do this again next week. How's that, Bob? We will. Ladies and gentlemen, it. his name is Larry Bubbles Brown. Five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Oh, boy, I really screwed that one up, didn't I? <laughs> oh, God, I wanted to go put myself on. And then, oh, yeah, okay. Uh, ha, ha. See, what I did is I pushed that one. See, that, Five uh, years and still, still talking, talking. Yeah, it's this an opening. Is the Great anyway, Broadcast Network. okay, fine. Anyway, that's how those things work. Okay. Anyway, where are we? Oh, okay. Look, I got I got people already waiting in my uh, waiting room here, and I have it uh, on um, enable waiting room. So I'm going to unenable the disable the waiting room, and then I'm going to admit Phil Meyer. Let me see here, and then I will admit. Um, Howard, um, who's with us, um, Phil, are you gonna are you gonna are you gonna go with that uh, today? Are you gonna uh, 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 because it it's a very bad, bad green screen. Can you hear me, Phil? What are you doing? You're zipping up your fly and everything. Okay. Get rid of that background, will you, Phil? It's annoying. Anyway. <laughs> see, see, that's what happens when you use their, their kind of green screen thing. Okay, now, oh, somebody already hung up. So, uh, um, hi. Hi, hi there. How are you? Hold on a second. Let me, uh, let me go to the Zoom panel here so you can, they can see. Would you take that background away, Phil? Because it's not really... You're not, uh, how can we call it, green screening very well. All right. Yeah, it's really annoying. It's uh, it's it, it, because it's the one that that comes with uh, Zoom, and it doesn't really look all that. No, good. this is this is one of my photos. No, no, no. I'm talking about the the cutting, the keying. Oh. Isn't good. Okay. Yeah. So just uh, uh, do away with that. Hi there, Charlie. Uh, hey, Ellie. And. Let's see who's 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 there. Chip Leuvens. Boy, uh, I'm going to start calling you by the names that you put up there, John Larkin. You know. Hi there, Charlie. Wait a minute. Go. Oh, hold on a second. You got your. Can you hear us, John? John. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. And there's uh, there's uh, uh, Rob, but we don't have much light on you, Rob. You're very. You yeah. Monster lighting. M monster lighting. Yeah. yeah, I don't really like putting on the bright lights in here. It, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, then we can't see you that well. You know, so. Holy moly. Yeah, what holy moly? What What made you say holy moly? Hair. It's going crazy. Oh, oh I got it. Nightmare. I got mine cut. <laughs> I need a haircut. I got a wife and a pair of clippers. That's what I got. Work. You're uh, doing the same uh, thing, aren't you? John, uh, aren't did they you? close down uh, uh, barbers in San Francisco? Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. No. I got a haircut last week. I, I don't know if they're still open. I don't. I think they're all closed. They they reclosed them all. I think. Yeah. It's not all very. It's not not a great place to uh, during this crisis. You know. Um, Tomorrow I gotta I gotta talk with uh, I guess Snyder will be calling me to tr do movie reviews, and I I've, I've held him off for a couple of weeks because there there's no movie business right now you know they're releasing some stuff on uh, on online but that's about it you know and so a lot of businesses are not coming back you know today they had a great report oh. Uh, life is wonderful. Life is grand. Uh, we only have 11 million people, 11 percent 
uh, unemployment rate. Just a little bit of a problem, though. That was taken before this recent, recent outbreak when everybody decided, oh, let's go open everything up. Let's see what it's like in a couple of weeks. You know, it's, it's, we're living in very dangerous times. I'm almost beginning to believe, uh, I, I'm playing a, a, a video game where it's a world in which it's been taken over by people who have been infected and become zombies of sorts, but they don't call them zombies because zombies have been way overdone, okay? Trump supporters. Trump supporters, <laughs> yeah. And um, it, I, I just suddenly realized today, this is getting very apocalyptic. Yeah. You know? Yes, Charlie. Uh, Texas passed New Jersey now. We're number three behind California and New York. We're coming for you. Really? Yeah. Really? In the number of cases? Because yeah. New Jersey... I'm surprised the sports betting places haven't reopened betting on states. <laughs> yeah. They should be. They're probably essential. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, that that D, that uh, guy in Texas, the DA, Dan Patrick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, that dude's subliterate fucking shit given, man. What a yeah. crazy. Yeah, what, yeah. Did, what did he say? He had a whole bunch of stuff about like, don't wear masks. Oh, yeah, don't yeah. do this. Don't do that. Hey, just Old people to throw themselves on the grenade for the young Trump people. honestly <laughs> believes, yeah. and, and Bree, why don't, don't we see a picture on you, Bree? Bree? Mm. We don't even hear Bree. Not here yet. He's not here yet? Well, it says free. It'd be free. Um, so, anyway. Um, He's muted, so is his, is his camera on? Can you see? His camera is not on. He's muted. There oh, there he goes. Okay, there we go. Um, it takes a few minutes for me to get everything set up, Alex. I'm sure you can relate. Really? It doesn't <laughs> no, it doesn't take me any time to get this going. I just have to turn everything on, and there you go. And then I fuck it up like I did a few minutes ago. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So anyway, uh, the trouble is that, that Trump feels... Trump is a very egotistical person. I mean... <laughs> Just absolutely, it's really? all about it's all about where, Donald where did Trump. You get that sense? It's all about Donald Trump, and you hear these things like he feels that, for instance, uh, the Black Lives Matter thing is actually against him. It was it was formed it against him. Everything's about him. Every but people don't like him, and and you know it's terrible. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, right. Uh, I'm sorry. It isn't all about him. It's the way he's lived his whole life, though. Mm -hmm. I suppose, you know, that's being that's what you get for being a spoiled brat. Yeah. Yeah. That's he's why like he sues everybody. I mean, he's been doing that way before he was president. Yeah. There's nothing new here. Yeah. But this I mean, uh, he to he is. Yeah. I mean, he uh, he just feels that uh, that. Uh, uh, wearing masks is an affront to him. It's meant to put him down. That supposedly is the, the word we get on his opinion about that. And, you know, I mean, it, it's, it's insane what we've got here. Uh, we, we have a very terrible person for the, for, the, for, the, for the times, okay? If there were no real problems going on and he could just loaf his way through the presidency, I suppose we wouldn't have anything to worry about except his ego. But this, this is maybe the worst tragedy to befall this country as long as I've been alive. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And look who's president. Look who, who didn't, wasn't there to protect us and to, to figure out what to do. Or to at least say, okay, I don't know anything about this. I'll leave it up to my doctors. I'll leave it up to my authorities who seem to know more about it than I do. But, I mean, it's all about him. And he, he's, 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 today, I looked, do you know how many people have died so far in this country? I just looked at it. I, I haven't paid attention to it for a couple of, couple of weeks. 130K now. Uh, almost 130,000 deaths. And I put those at the doorstep of Donald Trump. Yep. You know? Just wait a few months and then, you know, or maybe a year. And then people will say, oh, it never really happened. The numbers didn't happen. It, you know, yeah, it's all, 
yeah. That's what they'll say. Really, that didn't happen. It's like Parkland. That, that, all, those shootings didn't happen, in case right. you didn't yeah. know. All I mean, hoax. Fake news. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. how, how, how does he sleep at night? You know? Like a baby. Q3, Q4 is going to be huge. That's why. Huh? Q3 and Q4 are going to be huge. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're going to be beautiful. You're going to have such beautiful... You wait for Q3 and Q4. Gonna yeah, be well, it just started. It's, Q3 it's, just started, and that's why he started pumping up his economic stuff. It's, it's going to hey, be. I got to tell you, I hope Q3 and Q4 are great. Yeah. For yeah. all of our sakes, I hope. Yeah. I hope he's right. <laughs> of course. But do you but think he is? No. I think mm, I think it's going to be a good. shit show. The problem is great as compared know, to what? Last June. Yeah. He came out and gave that. You know, he had his talk about the jobs and all these things. And um, yes. the problem is, I, I mean, I hope that's true. I, I don't want to be the one who's always rooting for. You know, he, he'll say, right. "Well, the Democrats always." I'm not a Democrat, but anyway, I, of course, we want it to do well. Problem is, I can't believe anything he says. Not a single word. And well, as I said, when he got elected, it was funny. It was fun. It, it, the media, and you're right, Alex. If everything was going normal, it, whatever. I like but nothing this, better than a good comedy act. Okay, and if that's all I had to get out of Trump, and that's all that mattered, I suppose yeah. I'd be happy. But unfortunately, we got hit with something just terrible here. Something that leadership has to deal with and has to be out front of. Uh, and you take a look at the way, for instance, Trump has handled the situation and the way that, say, Mario, Cu Mario Andrew Cuomo has handled this situation. <laughs> It's like night and day. I mean, I'm glad I live in New York State, but I'm worried that we're going to backslide because of all you people who are infected coming in here. Yes, John. I, I think the last president that was hated really, you know, like Trump, was, was probably Nixon. But you kind of felt sorry for Nixon because you kind of saw the guy's kind of trying to do the right thing. But you look at Trump, and he's just a vile fucking subliterate shithead, you know? And it, well, it's just like, who can't even read his daily briefings. Yeah. He's you just, know, I mean. But that's what he plays on, ad hominem attacks. As soon as you go that route, right. burp, you know? And I know, I know where it comes from, but it's Where it's does like, it come it's from? like mud. It's the mud pit. And yeah. we all go in the mud pit and we're all. Where does, it, all come, where does it come from? What do you mean? You said you know where it comes from. Oh, it comes from. <laughs> it comes from the fact that it's the truth. <laughs> oh, it's what? It's the truth. Shh. Oh, it's the truth. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, but you can't. As soon as you go that route, you sort of, you know, in in debate or argument uh, style, you lose the you lose the ground. So then you you it's it's literally. I mean, we all know it. Don't wrestle with a pig. You'll get muddy and he'll, the pig will be happy. And that's exactly how Trump has lived his whole life. You know, he can pull you down and pull you into politics over any single thing. Everything is politics. I mean, people dying is politics. Well, you, you know, know I, I, I look, I, I have to put this at the door. I, you know, I'll blame Trump up to a point, but I have to put this at the door at the doorstop of, of the American public. I mean, this this is the this is the this is the one you brung to the dance, you know, and yeah. uh, 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 you know it's like when he won that yeah. night, and I had to go in and tell Marjorie, who was woke up and said, "What's happening?" I said, "Trump won," hmm. and she went, "Oh my God!" I said, <laughs> "Yeah, but wait, let's hope for the best, you know. Maybe yeah. he'll surprise us. I don't know. I doubt it, but." Maybe he'll surprise us. And I said, I hope he does, because, you know, I, we don't want him to be bad. Uh, he turned out to be a guy who doesn't know how to be president. He just doesn't know how to be president. And I think that's the problem we've got. I think this notion that Americans had, and by the way, if I'm out of sync, folks, I'm going to be out of sync every night with this Zoom, but it, it works better. Um, uh, you, you know, that, that he... He just doesn't know how to do the job. And, 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 and people voted for him. And when you hear people say why they voted for him, then you said, well, we figured, well, let's go for something different. 
That's right. Well, That's you went for something different, and what did you get? You know, there's something to be said about hardcore politicians. They uh, have a, uh, it's uh, it's their profession. They're a professional. They're like carpet layers who are professionals, and you don't layers. you don't hire Tony to go in and put no, your rug in. <laughs> I think I think one of the big problems is. I think one of the big problems is he didn't get the right people around him also. I mean, he could have got you know, different people and he got these people who are friends or just no experience in those positions, and that made it even worse. You know, Which group of people? It's been so many. You know, they keep, yeah. they, yeah. They, they keep yeah. talking about people what... people were not bad, but well, his, they couldn't work with them. was getting loyal people. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't care if they were competent. Right. He just wanted somebody loyal. Right. Exactly, yep. Well, I mean, when you go get a, a financial reporter... Uh, to be your uh, what uh, secretary of, of finance or whatever, uh, uh, you know. A financial. It's his advi It's an it, economic advisor. I don't think he's is an it, economic advisor. I think he's actually got a post in the cabinet. cabinet. He doesn't is have a Mnuchin, cabinet post. Is Mnuchin the only guy oh. from the original? Mnuchin, Mnuchin is. Yeah. Yeah. I think, so. yeah. I think yeah. I think he's the only one left. Oh, Ben yeah. Carson. I think. Ben Carson. Oh, yeah, but he's got such a mind. Him. He's, he's, he's my he's my eye doctor's uh, brother-in-law. Really? Yeah, and they say the whole family hates him. <laughs> so you know, so much for Steve Mnuchin. Uh, you I take have Ben a full Carson house. right now. Huh? What'd you say? You have a full house. I, I, I take have a full ben house. Carson oh, okay. Right so now. I should get out the full house thing. Yeah. The full hey, house M thing. Mnuchin Wait a minute. Be in full house, full he, he he robbed the uh, the go. fucking country. With, That's right. You know, when he, when he he took bailed out money for that bank he ran, and then he foreclosed on all those people. I mean, you, you know, they, they they took bailed out money and and bought out some some bank that was going out of business with free money that they got from the government, and then they fucking started foreclosing on everybody. And he was just a scumbag. Well, isn't that what Trump did with nine eleven money? Yeah. 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 So I mean, hmm. butt buddies. Yeah, they could put them both in the same cell. Butt buddies. Yep, yep. So um, you know, it's it's um, you know, I I don't I don't know what to say. All I'm saying is is that we have 130,000 people who are dead, and I put that at the doorstep of Donald mm -hmm. Trump, and he should not sleep well at night knowing what he's done to this country. Did, did you see him run away from the questions today at uh, after he did that that? press conference he just made a beeline out of there without yeah he's been doing that lately though he, do, and he, he knows he gets into trouble he starts mentioning drink clorox clorox yeah. and such you know well they're, yeah. they're asking him about what are you going to do about russia and the bounties and he's just you know up oh, i ain't going to talk about that shit i'm out of here well you know i mean he automatically he automatically dispenses with that by saying it's a hoax um or and, that he argues with the uh news media Instead of arguing with the news media, he's just leaving. I think that's a good thing. You well, know, because I, well, it, it's a good thing. Actually, it, it is a good thing. It isn't going to benefit him no. by arguing and saying your question stinks. So he, he doesn't take those questions. He just leaves. Well, and then why? Did, uh, here's my Phil, question. Or, oh, okay. uh, yes, Phil. Well. A quick question for you. What is the main? What was anyway? The main focus, the main purpose of what the news media is supposed to do. Is they, are they to blow? Are they to blow? Right, but they're supposed to also be the watchdog. They're supposed to ask the tough questions. Mm. They're supposed to probe and make sure that that's what the news media was. Journalism. News people, I should. They're the media is a <laughs> news, but now they're publishing things like the New York Times, which are not founded in fact yet. Based, based on who? Who? bullshit. What article are you talking? What story? Well, you know, Phil, uh, Phil, I would have to argue with you that the, the Times problem. doesn't sit around and say, oh, we just found out something yeah. shitty about Trump. Let's not vet it. Let's just publish it. They vet this agree. stuff. They, they, they want more than one source for these stories. They don't just anonymous. blatantly put, run, right. run a story like it's this. Anonymous. That's been going on since on. time and memoriam. These people protect, they protect sources. Yeah, you protect sources. That's the, I, that's the whole idea. Otherwise, nobody would ever say a word. But what they do vet, what they do vet are, excuse me, Tony, what they do vet are those sources. Right. You know, you don't know who they are because they say an anonymous source, but they know who the anonymous source is, and they have vetted those sources. 
although uh, the government agency that vets the this the information said that it was not conc not conclusive that they could. Who was the agency? Who, who uh, said they vetted it and it wasn't conclusive? I think it was the CIA. Fox News. No, I think no. it was the CIA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Phil, here's here's oh. what I think people are mad about. Um, mm. What they're mad about is that the CIA has said that they did put it in his daily briefings and that he mm. didn't read it. That's the that's briefer, the fault. The briefer, the, uh, uh, it was a woman, and she said that she didn't give it to him. Oh, come on. Who does she work for? Uh Whatever that agency is, it's, it's called Donald. It's called the president. NSA. NSA. I don't know. I, I don't know. I didn't I think, it's called think the CIA. about what agency she works. Or is for. it somebody that's in his cadre who wants no, to no, say no. there? It's an independent briefer that had they bring in an independent briefer, Phil. I don't believe that. Yeah, it had nothing to do with his administration. It's a government employee. Okay. Yeah, it's the CIA. It was a woman. I and you know I don't. I don't know which agency, three-letter agency she works for, but it's one of them. Can I say one thing? Yes, Tony. Tony's been trying I was to get it. Here, Alex, when you were talking about the press. Yeah. If we, didn't have, if we didn't have deep throat for Watergate, Nixon would still be president, Phil. They have yeah. to be. He was. It, see, Trump is doing disinformation, and that's the Russian's handbook. Only believe what I say, and everything I, else is not true. Tony, the disinformation is coming from the Russians. That's true. Oh, but the on. problem is, is it's not uh, Trump that is listening to those dog whistles. It's you Democrats. No, uh, but it has nothing to do with Democrats. You're going to tell oh. me that every newspaper is going, is, is always having... Not every newspaper. Read the Washington well, Times. doesn't like the story. Oh, read the Washington <laughs> Times? You want to talk about fake news? No, as far as I can tell, I'm I'm very well happy only because it's telling you what you want to hear. <laughs> and MSNBC listen, listen, uh, you Phil, you if you want to say MSNBC sucks, you'll find a good friend here in myself. I think MSNBC sucks horribly. And the Washington Post because and I, the I, they, New York Times. because MSNBC is is so one sided, it's ridiculous. I'm I'm annoyed by it. Okay, um, I think CNN is less biased, oddly enough. Uh, I, I find Fox is very biased. Oh, boy. You know, and Newsmax, come on. I tuned into Fox today. Though? We have 100, we, the, the 20, 30 states now are reporting. What are they talking about? On, so, no, I was watching CNN. I'm sitting out here, and I'm watching CNN today. And I probably spent 30, 40 minutes watching CNN. And then I hitting around, and I said, let's see what Fox is doing. So, CNN, you know, CNN has the, the breakdown of all the, you know, people who've died and everything on the screen. It mm -hmm. stays there. You know, they, they're heavy into this, right? They're taking you into the hospitals in Texas. They did an expose on the hospitals in Texas that blew my mind today, right? Mm -hmm. I switch over to Fox News, and they, all they're talking about is the economy, that the, the report that came out. And then, oh, by the way, there are some states where the you know the the, the rates are, are going higher, but we'll tell you more about that in a commercial after the commercial break. Uh -huh. And they're it, it's they're playing down anything that's not strong point to Trump. I mean, let me ask you this question, uh, Phil. Uh, I'm putting my hands over my mouth, and you won't say I'm out of sync. Uh, no, uh, <laughs> you're not out of sync. I don't think. You're well, right. no, but well, I'm I'm out of sync on on the show. It, it's been that way since we started using Zoom, but yeah. I don't care. As long as you don't care, folks. It's like a cheap Japanese movie. It's like a cheap Japanese movie. Uh, uh, doesn't it? Doesn't it bother you, in the least, that this is this this whole? Um, I mean, I think you're beyond believing that the coronavirus thing is a hoax thought of oh by the Democrats, God. right? I don't think you believe that, do you? I believe that there is a major virus, and it's very contagious. And I think we were attacked by the Chinese. <laughs> How did they do that? Uh, they released the virus. Yeah, they because they, they released it on themselves first. <laughs> yes, you see, because that, in order to get us, they released it on themselves first, killed a lot of their own people, yeah. so they could then infect us. I believe that did what happened the was that their the virus lab, was found in Spain. Their lab in Wuhan mm -hmm. uh, had a, had an issue with the virus, mm -hmm. and uh, they stopped all travel within China 
from Wuhan, mm -hmm. but they allowed international travel from Wuhan internationally. And that was the attack. Why does China have so few, or at least they admit to so few, whereas mm -hmm. the rest of the world well, well, uh, Phil, was Phil, Phil, I, you know, you could say, okay, they're fucked up, but, uh, and they fucked up, but how about mm -hmm. tr Trump, who didn't close the European travel to the United States and caused he New York did. to become a Petri dish? He did. As no, he as didn't. They, For, to, as soon as they realized. A month and a half after he did what he did in China, which, by yeah. the way, the China ban was only a limited ban. If you could go back in January 31st, uh, he... He he stopped the Chinese uh, from coming in. Well, no, he I didn't was, stop all was, Chinese from coming, Phil. Phil, Phil, he didn't stop all Chinese from coming. He it was limited, the first week of February. He limited travel. I know. I, I think all of this is, all of the this. The first week of February, he locked down Europe. I, I no, think he didn't. No, is, he did not. It wasn't until March fifteenth. I know that for a fact, Phil. I'm, I'm willing to. I'm willing to give everybody the benefit of the doubt about January, February, and into early March because nobody. I'm, I, I mean, there were people saying it, but there were people on the other side, right? What's happened since April, May, and all of these Republican? Mm -hmm sitness or red states that are reopening that have caught and, and having a big I saw the interview with the South Dakota governor yesterday who is clearly in Trump's neck he's going there he's promoting this I'll give you the beginning Phil all right you know what nobody expected this to be as bad as it was but how when you see what's going on how do you not just lock everything down how do you not as how does Trump in any good faith, have this thing that he's going to do on Saturday for Fourth of July. How and how can you respect that? That's what I don't understand. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. The other shit is old. Okay, good. It's it's not water under the bridge. You think we'd have learned by now, or he would have learned by now? It's going to be his last fireworks. I'll tell you that. Um, now we know that the guy. Well, you didn't, you didn't answer him. Rob's question. I'm answering it. We know the guy from Godfather's Pizza got coronavirus. What's his name? Good. Uh, He's an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> Herman Cain. Herman, Herman Cain. Cain, right. Herman Cain. At now, Oklahoma. And, he, uh, and he's in the hospital because he can't breathe. Right. Yep. Uh, he's not on a respirator, but he, not he yet. has. He uh, has. Have you ever eaten his pizza? The, you would be. No. Uh, <laughs> and he attended the Tulsa, uh, Oklahoma yep. rally. Right. Yep. Uh, other than him, are there any other reported cases? Yes, that came yes, out of, yeah. out of the yes. They're starting it's to come out now. Not even two weeks yet. It's not even. It'll be two weeks so, Saturday. And they're coming so, out. Uh, Phil, so there like is a surge. Service people that are infected. But you still didn't answer my question. Well, With I, what I'm we see sure. going on, how is it even possible that this yeah. man would consider having an event? standing up a governor to say we're going to have a, we're, we're not going to be social distance and if you don't want to wear a mask that's quite all right how do you respect that it's not a matter of respect i i think that the state that they're going to be visiting has such a low uh infection rate uh, they want to get it up there right so in california <laughs> heard so in all the it has a low infection rate and what trump has been saying all along is that some states don't Phil, do you don't do something which is going to encourage an infection rate Phil, Phil, Alex, you're not going to do something that's going to encourage an infection rate and he's Alex, and he's and he's not uniting everybody he's he not telling have, people he's people doesn't individuals. he's president look uh, it, it's, it's very simple Alex said it. yesterday he said yesterday that he's for uh, a president making an executive order that uh -oh. orders everybody in the country to wear Alex, a mask. Uh oh, Alex, uh -oh. hold on a second. Hold on a here second. Here we go. Here we go. First of all, I got I got to do this. Wait a Media minute. Hold print. on. Hold Ooh, on. Uh, we'll enable the Free, waiting room. Who are we freeing tonight? And then, who are we freeing tonight? Uh, well, uh, uh, I'm not even going to wait to Free find Gap out. Uh, let oh, me Gap see Gap here. Free. Remove <laughs> and Loses. Uh, Loses. remove. Uh, let's see here. Remove. Okay. What do you the Spanish people? There we go. There's a porn up there. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, I've got, listen who I've got here. Uh, well, iPhone 6. Who is that? It's somebody who normally calls us, I think. Let me see here. Uh, let me, let me let iPhone 6 join. 
Well, they they are. They says they're joining. I don't see it. But they're not. No, I see it on my oh. list here of people in the waiting room. Uh, oh, Familia Cortez. Familia. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 iPhone six. Are you there? Are you there? Is this anybody I should want to talk to? Newer iPhones, by the way. Huh? Wait a minute. What oh. is that? No. Is that Sibby? No. Is, no. Manny Cam. What? No. I, I don't. Uh, Manny Cam. That means. Uh, okay. All right. Well, Manny Cam yeah. means that's. Oh, okay. Oh, well, here we go. Here we go. Remove. Manny Cam. Okay. That means you can broadcast your camera on multiple. Wait, wait a minute. I just. I just said. Remove, uh, yeah, okay. Okay, it's it's a bomber. Okay. So we're getting makeup tips. Okay, well, we don't have to, we don't have <clears> to But California, up. right, all these states were going down, were going down, and then everybody loosened up and everybody came up. So North Dakota can well, be the state. That's not, that's the fault of the people. No, that's you the see, fault of the president. You, you, you are always a victim rather <laughs> than just realizing that it's the actions the individual takes that they should be responsible for their actions. Yeah, but you know what, and, Phil? And by, you... ordering, by ordering everybody by executive order to wear a mask where you can go to some areas of the country that they don't need to. That's but right. They... Where I live, you don't need to, but we do. And I'll tell you this. If your president would say you should wear a mask and and pe people then he his did. people his followers would embrace it and it wouldn't be a political he, discussion he, did. he said he politicized it no you people politicized oh, it. Come what on. he said was no, 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 hey no. it would be a good idea if you're not social distancing to wear a mask but he, he said, doesn't i don't need to because everybody around me is tested oh. and uh and testing doesn't no when those guys with the guns showed up at the courthouses, he said, uh, what did he say? Uh, liberate Minnesota, liberate Michigan or whatever, you yeah. know, yeah. Uh, and, and, you know, retain your Second Amendment rights. You know, you know, mm -hmm. come on. What was he calling? He was calling for. Just no, he wasn't. You and your dog whistles. We don't uh, understand. We don't understand the president. Everybody. It, most me. people don't understand the president. You have to I be do. one of the 35 percent. Who follows him who can who can like decipher it's sort of like code it's sort of like when the cia sends code you have to if i say to you get ice cream it means something completely different oh, that's, that's well, the way it I is i guess i'm in the fast reading group uh, you oklahoma not, you can well, look oklahoma at was way, but, oklahoma was spiking and he still had his rally mm. yeah the yeah. fact is that oklahoma it has come by we're about we're a little less than 14 days now since the rally, oh. and there is a major spike in in Tulsa, and they think it's as a result of the uh, of that. Uh, but there's no major spikes where people were rioting, like in Phil, Seattle. Phil, where you asked the question man. about how uh, only uh, only the guy from because. Papa John's was there. Anybody else? You know? Yes, yeah. there are lots of them, Phil. Okay, if. If you go to a big box store, Phil, okay, that was irresponsible behavior on the part of the president to hold his rally in that town when the coronavirus was on the rise and to not I tell said, people to wear be, masks about, and not to socially know, distance and to not uh, protect those people and have them sign a pledge that they wouldn't sue him if they got coronavirus. He believes that part of this is is manufactured. And, uh, well, he, he, they, but get, it's not, he Phil. Get the flu Tell anyway. the 130,000 people almost who are dead that it was a manufactured this, this hoax. This is a virulent flu. This is a <laughs> Never it is. It's still in, killing people. Influenza. It is but not Phil, it was created Phil and his China. side do not believe those numbers, Alex. If they you, don't exist. Yeah, if you want to argue that... Will you let me finish, Phil? Up. If you want to argue... Okay, that uh, that the flu every year kills thirty to forty thousand people. Right. The average. This is one hundred and thirty thousand, Phil. Yeah, it was more he's going. He's just he's going. going. This, and we, this is a stronger flu. And and what is the president doing about it? How well, is he, he helping he to he unite this his country? Position, his job is to get the states the things that they need, like PPE. And uh, that's an old one, Phil. Everybody built, has PPE he built, now. He built the bed. Well, he did what he was supposed to do. 
Oh, that's what he was supposed to do. Phil, what he's supposed to do. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Phil, stop a second. What a president is supposed to do beyond that is he is a leader. And he is supposed to be out front of these things. And look at what a guy like Cuomo did with his daily briefings to the, to the public and to the press. And wait, how he handled it. Let me finish. And how he handled it. That was presidential. That's what you do. You don't say, I'm the governor, so I'll just hand out masks. So therefore, okay. if you don't like the messenger, you don't give a it shit. It isn't a question the about the messenger. The messenger isn't isn't delivering a message. Right, he's not delivering he a message. He delivered it to Phil. me. He delivered what it was to the me- What was the message uh, he delivered to you, Phil? So Please angry. tell me what was the what, what what did he deliver to you? He's supposed to use Clorox, right? No, no. No, he's, a black light showed you know, up your ass. He he thinks outside the box and he thinks out loud. And he and he throws out ideas, and so you know, you know he, he said to uh, Bricks and uh, Fauci, "Hey, why you know why can't they use uh, light? You know, if, if because does, he sounded stupid. Well, because you don't like the messenger. No, I don't no, like the messenger. Exactly. I don't another, like the stupidity, another, Phil. Another I, question for you, Phil. Stupid. And, and I'm trying true. to remain really calm and have a serious discussion about this. Another, so pri- prior to Donald Trump in mm-hmm. your lifetime, who was another president that you thought was really great in this country? Reagan? Ronald Reagan. So would Ronald Reagan have handled it this way? Was He was somebody who was extremely presidential. In fact, you could even say that after Carter, we were really suffering the, 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 the White House, the presidency, Americans – uh, our, our, our pride was really hurting. We, we, we had that problem. We couldn't re- do that at rescue. Remember with the helicopter that went down and all that? Ronald yeah, Reagan, came, I didn't like Reagan, but he did come in and he united people and he was presidential. And if this pandemic would have happened during Ronald Reagan's time, he would not have handled it this way. Well, let me not, would not be dividing people. Biden, Biden, together. Biden has been in government for 51 years. What, wait, wait, well, we're, we're not talking about Biden, Phil. We're not talking about Phil. Phil, off topic. Off to topic. No, it's, it's, not. it's off topic it's because we're not discussing. We're not discussing what? Biden. Pigs you keep look interrupting happy. me. No, you're. I'm interrupting you because you're taking this thing off into a no, ditch. Trump, listen to me. Trump uh, is a different kind of president. He's getting things done. Mm, yeah, he's a different kind of president. He's, he he's, sucks. He's attacking. The swamp, oh, like man. people like I'm, Biden, I'm getting lightheaded from this discussion. And Schumer oh. that have hundreds of years combined of oh, legislative. Uh, they ha- this has nothing, nothing to do with what we're talking and, about, know, what have Phil. They done for the last three it's years, not, this Congress. isn't what we're talking about, Phil. Uh, yeah. Well, it's not what it, we're talking it about because it's all inter. Plus, I'm getting lightheaded. I've been lightheaded all day, and oh. this is making me like what, almost what, pass what, out. What do you think? Um, what, what do you think uh, about Trump dismantling uh, Obama's um, COVID plans that, you know, that he passed on to Trump? And Trump, they just threw it out. They just got completely dismantled the whole thing. It was thing. a pandemic I plan. Yeah. 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 I know that he had a different plan. And then that Bolton, who, uh, who was uh, in charge, was it NSA? NSA became in charge of uh, uh, the uh, the health organizations, and and uh, Bolton fired uh, a number of people and changed the structure. Uh, that didn't mean that there wasn't any structure. It just means that the structure was changed. So there was some guy that got fired, and and they threw the playbook out. No, they had well, a playbook. They that playbook Before out. Bolton even came aboard. Obama had a plan that would go with that would work through the CDC, where the CDC would work with China and other countries. They would coordinate on these kinds of pandemics and things. They had plans, and Trump dismantled all that. He did not want to. He didn't want to have any kind of uh, cooperation with China or anything like that, other than you know his uh, crazy you know. Uh, uh, personal relationship with Xi Jinping, you know. How how did how did the Chinese cooperation work for us now? 
there, 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 there wasn't, wasn't none. There, there wasn't any. That's right. Well, that, because if, if, because he if threw the playbook criticize them and call uh, them Let me, let me, let me wait a minute. Hold on. Why are they going to fucking cooperate with us? Let me, let me ask you a question, Phil. Phil, please. You're making me pass out here. You're really making my head swim. All right. You know. No, 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 no. I'm like. Uh, 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 the uh, the whole relationship that he said he was getting going with China and how he was going to make China play with our playbook, and then what about North Korea? That where did that what happened with that? Yeah. Well, that's a good question because prior to uh, Trump <laughs> talking to North Korea, yeah, I don't uh, hear this. President answer. Obama said North Korea is the biggest threat. That is in We're the world today. We're not talking about and now, Obama. Are they still We're, that's not the threat? question I asked yeah, that's you, the Phil. Worst. That's not. Yeah, you said what happened with North Korea. No, what happened with North Korea? In that he yeah, said, "Well, I think we have a deal, and I can talk to my friend Kim Jong Un and all of that." Right. And the other day, Kim Jong Un basically went. Well, Kissinger started with a ping pong game. Right. Trump also is uh, you know uh, is doing it uh, his way uh, i think there's been communication between uh, 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 an outlaw country like north korea and you know the tell you the truth even with china uh well what trump wants is just a fair deal and china was eating our lunch now companies are coming back and they're realizing mm. how bad oh, it yeah. is. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah there's yeah, that yeah. beautiful yeah. health care that's cheaper. Uh, we're, yeah, yeah, we're yeah, still uh, going to buy masks. We're still going to buy masks from China. Beautiful. We're still, yeah. Uh, yeah, I just bought some myself. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we were going to have the best health care, remember? When yeah, he had control oh, of the beautiful. he had control McCain. of the Senate. He had control of the Senate. No, and no, McCain. no. Wait, wait, wait. McCain only stopped them from ripping down Obamacare. Right. He didn't have, there was we have not heard one word about what a plan would be. He well, hasn't told to Americans get rid of well you no, have no, no, to get rid no, of no, no. Obamacare no, and then no, you no. Can institute something else. No, no, no. You come up with a plan and replace it. You don't you don't just try because this is what he did with the playbook. He got rid of the playbook. He didn't have a playbook. And then he said we'll he didn't even say we'll figure it out. If you look at the headlines today, in fact I was looking tonight, he just finally said we're putting together a whole new team now. To do oh what? God. Yeah, he, if you look at the the, the news, he's putting together <laughs> a whole new late. team. But Rob, do... thank goodness we got that wall. Yeah, <laughs> the two hundred and twelve yeah. beautiful miles. Mexico's happy. I mean, yeah, it's like the Great, the Great Wall, of China. It's it's perfect. I mean, it, it's yeah. amazing. Yeah. If he could, he put a moat there. <laughs> hey, Alex. Yes. You're breathing better today. I'm breathing better today. Yeah, you yeah, sound like I you're not as sick today. Well, I'm not. I, I'm not. I'm not having that much of a problem that way. But I'm. I'm. Just, I'm very lightheaded today and uh, tired. And it's. It's. I, there's something in the air here. And I. I, I, I I'm, I'm. I'm beginning to think it's something in this apartment. Really? By, the, by the way, just a side note, and then we'll get back to Trump. Um, I get woken up this morning by Marjorie saying to me, "Come look." I said, she said, I'm being like Brian on Family Guy. Come look. And I went, okay, what, what's she doing? And she went, uh, I went, okay, what? And she said, look. And it was a dead mouse. You got it. Ah. A dead mouse. A uh, dead mouse, um, she said, but you do something about it. I said, well, give me those, uh, those cook kitchen tongs. And I picked it up and threw it in the garbage. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hey, Alex, can I ask you a question? We have to sandblast the kitchen tongs <laughs> after that. Yeah. Well, oh, we, don't have, we don't have a... Uh, we don't have a... Um, Bree uh, Bri left. Bree left. Uh, 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 my question is, do you, which room in your apartment do you spend the most amount of time? Uh, I don't know. Bedroom, office. One or the other. Okay. Uh, had you considered getting an air cleaner that yes. you know, got a HEPA filter in it? Yes, and will but I don't have the out. power in this apartment to to plug it in, okay? Oh, and have an air conditioning going at the same time. What about the dehumidifier, Alex? Like you and said, plus, well, they cost a lot of money. Not too, yeah, they're, too they're not cheap. They're four or $500. Yeah, but, four or 500 But the thing is, if you leave it in the room, leave it with the air conditioner off while you're not in the room, have it cleanse that air, and then when you go in, see if you're getting the same effect. Well, I, you know, I'm not going to buy a $500 HEPA filter on the per chance that it's going to make this go away. Try okay. renting it, then. Yeah, that's a good idea. Hmm. Well, you know. Um, 
But anyway, so you know, what, if uh, you're getting sick and you're getting lightheaded, you you may want to ask yourself, and you think that that's what it is, it's probably not a bad thing to do. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe I also have. I, I'm. I, I, I woke or up a couple of times in, the, in my sleep air? last night gasping, which I don't normally do. Can, and I thought, maybe I have uh, have uh, apnea. Is yeah, maybe that's a too. Can have you been to get? Have you been to get the test on your arm where they play tic tac toe? No, I haven't done they... that. But you know, I, it, the problem is I can't go to any doctor right now because, you know, it's it's very difficult to see doctors at this point. There, yeah. There's a test. I know, but you have to go to a doctor to do it. No, they just draw your blood and they send it into a lab in Florida, and uh, but that test Bill, for two hundred foods it, and other allergy, yeah, okay, uh, okay. other. Um, By the way, uh, that thing last chemical. night you sent me about yeah. uh, about um, zinc. Uh, zinc, zinc was exactly what I said about zinc, and what the article said was that it, 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 there's no evidence either way about it. Uh, right. As but as regards COVID, no, it can't hurt you. But I've been taking zinc for <clears throat> years. I've got these little pill. Where are they? I have them still here somewhere. Coldies. Cold. Oh, when I'm getting a cold, you take them. And they have zinc in them. That's what. Uh, They're tough to take. The taste on those things is. Yeah, 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 but but it, it does it does soften a cold. But it, yeah. you know, there's no proof that it does anything for COVID, no, right, no. Brian? Right. <laughs> You know, and and, and I didn't want you. I didn't want you coming on here and telling people, "Oh, there's a proof that zinc, blah 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 blah." And that article you sent me didn't I, say I anything an more than I had said, and that was that uh, zinc is good for colds, but who knows? It probably doesn't work for COVID. Uh, matter of fact, the the article did say no, that it didn't. It helped with the COVID symptoms. No, it didn't. Yeah. No, it did not, COVID. Phil. I sent it to all you guys. Did you read it? Yes. I'm an, and and did you guys read it? Any of you? I don't know if you sent it to me. It yeah. goes uh, in a deleted file. I'm sorry. I don't read my daily briefings. <laughs> <laughs> no bullet points. Mm -hmm. However, if you send it to me as a cartoon, uh, I might read it. Okay. <laughs> Stick figures. <laughs> Stick figures. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, there's a picture of Kane with in I, I don't see it on here, but they showed it on CNN with all these people. And I guess they had those seats like they had like seats marked off. You're not supposed to sit in, but everybody sat together. They're all saw that. posing for pictures. So I saw that. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, it, it, you know, it, all of them catch it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. My neighbors here are having close. a big party this weekend. I'm, I was I'm like, not going. Bye. I wouldn't go to the fun. rally. I wouldn't go to the, the rally. It's wait, wait, wait a minute. You, 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 there's a, you're, they're having a party. Are you going, Rob? Hell no. I already told him. I said, have fun. I'm sitting out here. We'll be watching my TV. Got my cigars. I got my scotch. And I'm going to celebrate 4th of July right here. Alone. Right. Well, that, they had a ice cream social down in the courtyard today, tonight. And I didn't go down. Jeez. You know. Or uh, catch it for, for ice cream. What? I could buy my own. I make my own ice cream. What was funny is the temperature outside was 92 degrees, and they were serving ice cream. Yeah, it's those, hot. There's some kids that had a some kids that had a party, I guess, over the weekend, yeah. and yeah. then they the, the the guy who was throwing the party was already starting to catch COVID. He already started to feel bad. Still had the party, and then a bunch of people, I guess, got it caught, and then they tried to do tracers. They called them. Some of the people from the party, and they wouldn't say who they were with. It, it was a college uh, football team party. Uh, really? It was in Alabama, and uh, yeah. they were trying to infect themselves. And There's they a... think that the reason they did that was so that they would get the virus prior to football season, and therefore they'd be able to play because if they got it during football season, they wouldn't be able to play, and it was affecting their uh, ability to be seen by... Uh, wow. Uh, you, you know what really bothers me, though? Uh, and, uh, by the way, Howard, you haven't said anything tonight, so if you want to jump in with anything, please feel free, you know. Uh, and, Bree, if you want to call back by any chance and you're listening, uh, I, I have a, a, you know, I have a wall up in the... Uh, put you in the waiting room, but I'll see your name and I will admit you. Okay, I always look to see if it's people I know. Okay, all right. Anyway, um, so did you want to hear about my hobby? Oh, he's going to view a new house. That's what he said. Oh, wow. No, no, no. It has to do with um, pickling. Oh, no, no. We're going to make sauerkraut. 
Cool. Yeah. You're going to make your own sauerkraut? Yeah. I, I, one of my hobbies is I love to ferment you, things. You I, know I something? Did, this like, is this is amazing that I've gone this far in my life, but I don't know how you make sauerkraut. Do, what do you use? Salt water. Ca water. Cabbage? No, but do you use cabbage? cabbage? Yeah. Is that what cabbage, you use? Cabbage, salt, water, um, thyme. Mm -hmm. So I use an airlock system, an anaerobic environment, so that no bad bacteria can grow, only the good bacteria can grow. Mm -hmm. And then I flavor it up. Um, I'm going to make one with pineapple, ginger, turmeric, cabbage, onions, garlic. Sounds good. Mm, sounds great. Sounds like kimchi. Sounds great. I make a kimchi too. That's basically a pineapple one. I do mm -hmm. actually put the Korean chilies in there. Yeah. What's the difference between kimchi and uh, sauerkraut? Sauerkraut's They're all cleaner. basically fermented cabbage. I guess it's a flavor. Yeah. One's Korean. I mean, the kimchi they bury, yeah, okay. don't they? Okay. In, well, in, uh, in the anyway, uh, in, in, the, in the bottle. Yeah. Okay. They do in Korea. Oh. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, uh, I guess I guess what bothers me most of all these days is that we are such a capitalistic country that we're more worried about the economy coming back than about people dying. We, I actually saw one person on television, some right winger, who said, well, if some people die because of this, we can't let the economy suffer as a result. Damn it, what yeah. kind of thinking is that? Where does that mentality come from? There's gotta be a balance. We can't destroy the world's economy. Look, I'm, I'm no, you know, I, you have to, balance it to some degree you really do we yeah, have to yeah. figure out how to live with this you know Rob, we do because this is the new but that's normal what we right didn't now. do we suddenly went back in with both feet well we you had know. protests no, we, we had we no well we did some states did was, i'll tell you what my state's doing every week they're going phases how do you do it in a week yeah yeah, How do you no, do it you, in wait, a week? you wait at least two weeks between phases Ooh, yes uh, uh um charlie's got his hand up yeah, uh, there are ways to save people's lives and the economy. New Zealand, South Korea, right. Australia, Germany. There are ways to do it. Just look at what they did and do science, that. Science, well, well also, science. Also, 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 what, is what the problem is, is they say, they say, because you know, we, the virus dictates what happens, not people. They say we've got to get the, uh, the economy back, okay? Yeah. Uh, and, and and so let's open everything up. Well, well, you opened everything up, and now you're having to shut it down again, and that's a, having an adverse effect on the economy. That's what you do right. if you want to bring the economy back, you do it as Rob was suggesting in phases, and you carefully do it, and you test, and you use science and data, and you do what we did here in New York State. Now look, if you're going to use a model to solve this problem. Just look to New York State and what New York State has done and how it's doing it. Alex? Because, let me finish, Phil. All right. You know, because we've been successful and, and so far. Now, we don't know what's going to happen with the rest of the country infecting us, but so far, it hasn't been a major uh, problem here any longer. And we have had done it by doing it in phases and by looking at data and by testing and by letting the data drive us. Yes, Rob. When you when you are young and you want to build a career and you say, I want to be whatever you pick it, I'm a, I want to be a doctor, I want to be a successful lawyer, I want to be a successful fin finance guy, what do you do? You go find somebody who has been successful at it and you try to find a mentor who will work with you and teach you what they did. That's mm -hmm. the same thing. So a model like New York State, they did a great job. Maybe people should be paying attention to what exactly. New York did it, it's a, or other countries, what they've done. Not just design a plan that says, all right, in a week we're going to do this. Next, the following we're going to do that. The following we're going to do that. And, and what is – nothing's changed. The virus is still there. Well, you know you something? You have to find what works and copy it. Cuomo has said that he has put the offer out to any governor who wants yeah. – our plan and, and aid and, and ideas from us, he's, he's there to do it. And I guess nobody's asked him yet. 
Of course, you know, not, because except it, for the it, the Northeast governors, right? They all well, the, the Democratic yeah. governors say fine, but the Republicans go. Oh, we don't want Cuomo to come in here and tell us what. Of course not. But, but of he course not. it isn't as Cuomo has said so many times. This isn't Republican. This isn't Democrat. This isn't left. This isn't right. This is a disease. This is a flu, a virus that knows none of that. It it it, it takes prisoners everywhere. Okay. And that you can't handle this as a political thing, and you can't say, I'm not going to do this because the Democrat is doing that. Well, what right. the Democrat did here was not play politics. He simply, you know, he, he got help from Trump when he needed it, and he, he praised Trump when he needed to. Uh, he held no quarter at being political at any point in all of this. That's and right. as he said, I'm not running for anything, you know. And this is my, uh, my uh, 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 you know, I'm trying to handle this to solve the problem. Well, he did. We brought the whole amount down. I mean, 10 people died yesterday, uh, you know, uh, five a week ago. But, I mean, it, it fluctuates back and forth. The fact is that if somebody were, if these people were to say, well, what is New York doing and how are they getting things back? I mean, we're getting most of our economy back now without a rise or a spike in cases. But we did it because it was measured, because it was done in increments, and because it was done adhering to science and data. And so that's what you need to do. bars and restaurants are still closed in New York, right? He, yes. he, he decided Outdoors that he wasn't going to let indoor uh, exist because he felt that uh, the civilian population wasn't as disciplined as it had been in the past and he doesn't want to take that chance you know he says indoors you've got to uh, you know he's he's recommending that maybe some filters some HEPA filters might work very what they I can't remember the name of them uh, in we but when you've got people in a, a closed area with an air conditioner you've got these particles being spewed everywhere and he's worried about that. He thinks that may be a, a bad point. So now you still have to eat outside. But, you know, restaurants are happy to do that. They're happy to have some some kind of business. Now, we Phil. used to eat outside in Manhattan all the time. Yeah. Phil, what were you going to say? Um, I was going to say that what's happening is that the goalpost continues to move. The whole idea of the shutdown was it was going to be 14 days, and it was going to be shut down for 14 days so that they didn't overrun the hospitals. Now, by moving the goalpost and moving the goalpost and moving the goalpost, you're trying to kill the economy and uh, kill the. Well, we're Trump not trying to. We're not trying. We're not trying to kill. He has created. Oh, Phil, it isn't about Trump. It's about the American public surviving this and doing it in a measured and intelligent and smart way. There's yes, Char Charlie. 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 That are dead. Charlie. Move, we we got to move the goalpost. You got to change it. It's a fucking Republicans. Fire. It's out of control. Okay, Char Republicans Char now are going backwards. Phil. Charlie. Charlie has his hand up. Mm -hmm. Charlie. Yeah. Phil, What's that mean, Rob? They, they, what do you mean? What does that mean? Republican states are now shutting down again. And that's, that's true. So, so, so is uh, Illinois. So is California. But I'm just saying, I'm, what, what I'm saying to you is, you're saying that they're that the Democratic states are trying to kill the economy. They're not. They're trying to protect their people and open smartly. Now the Demo now the Republican states are doing the same thing. They have to close. They have to. They're Some doing do. It too late. Some do. But the hospitals can't... in Texas are full. They're making decisions. And you're, here's your fucking death panels. They're making decisions on who to treat because there's not enough hospital beds to cover yeah. all the COVID patients that they're having now because that fucking asshole Abbott opened up the economy on May 1st. Charlie, yep. the sky is falling. So it you is falling. It is terms. falling, Phil. You, you haven't looked. Phil, that Allison. is real. You it come to falling. Texas, you go to a major hospital, and you show me some rooms that are open. There aren't any. If you move the uh, ship, the hospital is, ship to Galveston, you can transfer. Phil, Phil, but nobody's moving. The, nobody's moving the hospital ship to Galveston yet. Okay, yeah. you know you're going. If what when you know none of this, all of this is serious fucking business, Phil. 
you mm. you you can't think of it as being something against Trump or it's against the Republicans. That's what Trump thinks, though. Yeah. See, that's the thing. So they believe that. How are you going to get a hospital ship to Dallas? What do you believe? How are you going to get a hospital ship to Lubbock and Amarillo? <laughs> you can get it to Houston, but that's about it. And and only as far as uh, what do you call it the uh, the San Jacinto Monument, uh, yes, uh, Tony. You know you know what it said that the virus, the virus got came to, to to our country, and in an election year, and that's all he was worried about. Yeah. If this was two years ago, I think he handles it differently. Potent, potentially, and you might be hundred percent right about that. You, might be you know something, right the sad it. part for Trump is, the sad part for Trump, Tony, is that if he had handled this well, if he had handled this decently and in the right way, and with the advice of a lot of the medical people oh, around him and so on, he'd be a shoe in in November. Oh, I agree. I agree. Yeah. Exactly. He'd be a shoe in in November, but he didn't. And it's his fault. Yes. Uh, uh, he could have won over a lot of people. Yes, John. Uh, I just... There, there's an article, you can read it for free on the Atlantic uh, website by James Follow, and uh, he compares uh, um, the response to the COVID thing, the whole response by Trump, and he, com he, he compares, the, in, the, in the piece, he compares it to uh, the airline industry and flying airplanes and how, you know, everything's, uh, well, I don't know, I can't explain it, but it's free, go read it, it's a great article. Yeah. Uh, it's in the Atlantic. Charlie, I just wanted to say to you that, uh, you, you know, I really liked your anger there because you're, it you looks like you're getting frustrated with the whole yeah, situation I'm in Texas. To go, I'm literally scared to go outside. Yeah. If I get sick, yeah, you think they're going to treat me over a 35 year old? Hell no, yeah. they're going to let me die. Yeah. Yeah. Charlie, I hate yeah. to say, did you ever, th I, I mean, I, I can't believe I'm going to say this. Would it be worth leaving Texas now for a couple do, months? Where do you, do you go? Do that? Where do you go? There are 35 states right now that are, are suitably infected. Yeah, I mean, go to New Zealand. Who, 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 who can you Don't stay with? Me. Yeah. No smart state would let me. You now, Jeff, Jeff, you're up in uh, you're up in Cape Cod area, right? Yeah, right now. Yeah. And uh, you know, it's anywhere in New England. It's very risky these days. Uh, in uh, Maine, mm -hmm. you can't get into Maine. Maine's terrible, Russia. right? Now. Yeah. But do they block the roads? They just said it takes two weeks that you wow. get uh, tested before wow. you can come in. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. We can't well, go to Europe now. Americans can't go to know. Europe. And by the way, I, I, I sent on. I sent away for a new passport, and it doesn't look like I'm going to get it in the usual two months to get it back, wow. because they say at the uh, passport place that they had to send all their people home and they couldn't work for home from home doing this and they're backlogged 100 1,300,000 passports right now Jeez. Uh, well, are they still but then again i thought about it and where am i going to go <laughs> you know are they still allowing expedited passports for an extra 100 bucks i think it's not expedited it is life or death they call it <laughs> if you have life or death circumstances you can expedite it. That's the only way you can expedite it. Mm. So, you know, so I mean, these, these are... Not, hmm? If you look at a passport and you see how it's created and all that, it, it, yeah. they can't do it remotely. So you have to have yeah. people... Who well, I don't think we actually do them here in this country. I think they're actually. <laughs> I, I, I think the passports are done in another uh, country. Yeah. Made, in, made in where? Taiwan or Japan or China? I, I discovered... I just discovered a thing on Zoom. You may all be aware of it, but if you uh, mute yourself and you hold down the space, uh, bar. space bar key, uh, it, it's kind of like uh, on the radio, you know, where you can uh, push the space bar, push the talk. Uh, it's pretty interesting. Let, let me see. Can I do it? Can you, you hear me? Up? Yep. You can hear me? And then you do the space bar? Yep. What, yep. what does it do? The Let's space bar space allows you to talk. When you let go of the space bar, it stops. It turns. Uh, you have you. to mute yourself and then oh. uh, press the space bar to speak. Oh, to speak. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, okay. Hmm. That's interesting. It's a shame, though, that so many people. Now, if we can do something about this, uh, this uh, slight delay that makes me it makes us all look like a bad Japanese movie, 
you know, it'll it'll be fine. But I've been looking online for ways to that solve that Woody problem. Allen okay. made. Remember that, that movie that Woody Allen made? From what's a What's Up, Tiger Lily? His first yeah, film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh wow, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, I just, I guess the thing that bothers me the most of all, I feel like, like uh, as frustrated as Charlie, and that is that, you know, this doesn't, ha it didn't have to get this bad. It didn't get this bad in other Euro in European countries. They stem the tide really fast, you know, and we've suddenly become, I mean, when I look at the map, uh, uh, U.S., 22, 2, 2, 2,735,554 people infected. Brazil is up to 1,496, 1,496,000. Russia is at 660,000. But you could look down the list, and when you get down the list, it isn't until you get to the number six spot that you come to the United Kingdom. Spain and Italy are like eighth and ninth or something like that. You mm -hmm. know, we're terrible, just terrible. Yes, Phil. That's, you know, in some of these other countries, they were able to say, if we see you on the street during the lockdown, we will shoot you or arrest you. Whereas yeah. in the United That's true. States, That's we true. have we have a bill of rights and mm -hmm. we have a constitution. Did they did they do this in did they do this in Italy? Uh, yeah. They said they they'll shoot did. you in Italy. No. People weren't allowed out of their. No, house. they weren't allowed if out they, of their house. If they, they could... went out of their house, they'd be arrested. No, yeah. they get fined. No, they got That's arrested. Fine. Yeah, I think they got arrested. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, and maybe so, we maybe we should do that. We can't no, do that in this maybe country. Maybe we should suspend all our rights. You know, yeah, you I, can't do that. In this yeah, country. but you know something. Uh, we're we're, we're right for speeding. Why the, can't they find you for spreading the, the disease? There is a, That's because there are laws against speeding, but there are no laws. Yeah. There are no laws on the books for this kind of stuff. Uh, you, That's why they can't enforce. Like, yeah, in Virginia here, they mandate. They mandate masks, right? Even now, Texas yeah. is mandated. You masks, don't wear a mask. You should no be arrested. Really if you don't wear a mask, you should be arrested for attempted murder. Wow, that's they'll never get through. But you can of, burn down a course. church and nothing happens. What is what what, what does that have to do with anything of what we're talking about, Phil? Yes, Jeff, quick. Jeff, Jeff wants to say something. Jeff, a church ought to at any state that's got difficult problems that are dying stop the church and use it on the internet church yeah and you don't have to go inside the building that's what, what my wife's doing right. the same yeah. thing same story All kinds of people who have brains can do this it's not that difficult yeah. i'm talking about the church uh the saint andrew's church in washington dc nobody was inside there they weren't having any services these were rioters that uh, we're uh, cre uh, creating havoc. Phil, yeah, it has nothing to do with what we're, we're talking, talking about. about. We're Here. not talking about that, Phil. You're trying to. You're trying. You're doing what Trump does. You, look no, over here. We're, 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 you want to be here I, talking about something, but look over here. Look over here. What I said was diversion. You'd arrest Phil. somebody for burning. Uh, for, you'd arrest somebody for not wearing a mask, but you mm. wouldn't for burning a church. But yes, we would. Yeah, we would. Yeah, we absolutely uh, would. <laughs> If we, we can find them, if did we they, can did, find them, Phil, we will. Did they find them? Phil, did they find them? Whoever burnt the church? Uh, I don't know. Well, well see, yeah. That's the, you yeah. can't arrest somebody. You can't arrest you can't somebody find. you don't know. Yeah, they yeah. catch you. I mean, come on. Nobody believes them. A lot of crap. I don't care if you, I don't care if you're left or right or in the middle. Nobody wants lawlessness. And no. and Phil once again takes us that's off the di reason. off into the ditch where we weren't going good in the first place. Trump. Hey, uh, you don't want lawlessness. All right, no, okay, no, Phil. No, okay, uh, uh, Brian. Thank you for being with us. You've been a little quiet tonight. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Some nights you're quiet. Some nights you're not. Howard, you've been quiet too. But I want to say. But that's okay. That's fine. I love the view. Uh, uh, Phil, thank you. Uh, Howard, thank you. Thank you, Charlie. Uh, Chip Leuvens, <laughs> uh, thank you. Uh, R Roberta, uh, Roberta Lafano. Uh, that's what it looks like because you don't have a, a it's separated there. Uh, let's see here. Jeff Stein, thank you. Uh, Tony, thank you. And Brian Neary, of course. Always love having you here. Uh, yeah. Mahalo. Mahalo. 
Mahalo for not smoking. That was my favorite sign of all time. Anyway, give a big uh, wave goodbye. And I'll wave goodbye back at you, okay? There they go, folks. There's our citizen panel for tonight. And also a few unwanted people who, uh, who joined us. Uh, listen, uh, that's it for tonight. Uh, we'll, uh, next is uh, Jack Bishop and the Intersection. I'll be back again tomorrow night for our final show of the week uh, at uh, 10.30 Eastern Daylight Time. Okay? In the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her. And whatever you do, please wear a mask and be safe out.